All right, welcome back. It's Autodesk 3DS Max 2018 video number 15. Today we're going to continue setting up our concept art for our next project. Now I'm going to hit M for material. And we're going to get this thing started right off the bat. We already have our three planes. We've got our front view. We've got our left view. We've got our top view. So all of these are all set from the front. We are going to make sure that our material is set up. So I'm going to bring up this material setup. Now, 2018 has new physical materials. So we could use those, although I've found that generally they um, we're never going to render these images out. So we don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to work with the physical based materials that we will work with. And most of our material stuff that we actually do will be built into Unreal. So. For today, we're not going to bother with those. We're just going to use the default standard material. Now, what makes that nice is that we can just basically go into materials, go into maps, general, bitmap, and then open the map that we need, which is the M5A gun shoot shoot thing. Let's find it. It's in... Yes. Open. Cool, now that goes into the diffuse color, and that's basically set up. Now, we already made sure that this image is properly set. Um, we know how big it is. We can, s we might be able to get the information if we really wanted to. There's what it looks like. We know we already set it properly. So I'm just going to select, double click on this, make sure that this is shown shaded view viewport. I should have every single one of these already selected. So I can select all three of those and I'm going to apply them to all of them. So now what I've done is I've figured out I've got my picture in each viewport. So I've got it in the front, left, and top. Now you may not always have the right setup for each one of these. You may not always have the direction uh, things are supposed to go. But if you don't, or if you have multiple, you may have multiple images, like one front, one left, and one right. And if that's the case, then we uh, will deal with that later. But for now, this is set up really well. With that in mind, the F for front bit, uh, shot. So this is my front view. Now what I need to do is I need to take this um, piece of art, and I need to make sure I line it up somehow on the grid. Right? Now, one of these is the front. And I'm willing to bet it's this circle where the bullets come out. So I'm going to make sure that that the front is lined up with something that makes sense. So because the bullet, uh, because the barrel of the gun is so obvious and it's set up right here, um, you're going to want to make sure that I'm going to use that as my center point. Now, every single piece of art you work with will be slightly different. You may have to find some place that you can realize will be the front and the side someplace that you can line everything up to um, I know that I'm going to use this barrel because I have a logical place that I can run that barrel in both viewports I'm also going to make sure that it's as close as I can get it to being directly on now if your image is slightly blurry remember you can write you can go into the plus menu configure viewports set display performance to 4096. If you have that, very few things are going to be bigger than that. So this is the front view. The left view, the left view can be confusing because the left view has to be pointing towards the right. So if it's the left view and you want it to set up properly so that the front is the front, then you need to make sure you pick the right side of this object so that means whatever it is if it's a plane it's driving to the right if it's a gun it's shooting to the right if it's a car uh, uh wait i already said driving you get the point it always has to be moving towards the right so i'm gonna hit r and rotate this 180 degrees and hit w and make sure that the down is down and the barrel is pointing to the right now because i'm in the right to left view i need to figure out what direction uh, where I'm going to align it along this up and down direction. So I'm going to use that green light. That green light is going to be set on my dark line here as my marker. So I'm going to try and make sure that lines up perfectly. And this is going to matter because when we start moving around, um, we're going to want to make sure that our front view and our top view are all the same. 
So now from the left, we have that. From the front, we have this. From the top, we need to make sure that it's pointing down. Down is front, so I'm going to hit E, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to hit W and I'm going to move it so that, remember the green line? The green line's going to run along here, the, or the green spot. And the barrel, the barrel is where I'm going to align it along the x-axis. So the y-axis is aligned to this green spot this way, and the x-axis is aligned to the barrel. Because remember when we set the barrel up in the, fir in the front view, we need to make sure that the front view it's going to be pointing directly at us. Now this part is confusing. This this whole process of setting up these directions can be very confusing because you have to remember that guns, planes, anything that has a direction has to be pointing down in the top view. It has to be pointing right in the left view and it has to be pointing directly at your face in the front view. Once that's set up, then it's going to be fine then all of that stuff is set up okay so there we go so we've got this set up now we're going to move on and now if we create a box actually first things first we need to freeze these panes because now that they're roughly the right size we need to do the next step so the next step in our what to do is so the next thing we have to do is make sure that our art We've, we've made sure that our art is the right size. We've determined the image size. We've made sure that all of this material is set up properly. Right? Now what we need to do is do a little bit of research. All right? We need to figure out exactly how big this file is going to be. Okay? So, luckily, this gun in particular has information about it. Right? So you go to the internet and you find out about it. This gun in particular is a certain length uh, let's pretend it's not there it says um it's let's see does it say length 88 centimeters perfect so i know that this gun should be 88 centimeters long okay now because we have excellent concept art from both directions we can actually just continue along with this process all right so we can use the art as long as we have one direction if the art is good then we can move from there. If the art is bad, you're going to have a much more difficult time uh, just trying to get through this. So first things first, we know it's from the left. We know it's going to be 88, uh, 88 centimeters. Okay, so we know that we said it was 88 inches. So what we can do is we can actually create a box. And we're going to create the box in uh, the left view because that's set up. And we know that we can do it with keyboard entry. Actually, let's just do it like this. I'm going to create a box like that. So we know that we can adjust this. So height, I don't know how big it's going to be. But I know width is going to be 88. So I can just set this to 88 and hit enter. Now luckily we've set everything to centimeters. So if, if this is going to be 88, then we know that this file here, this, this piece of art, is going to fit. So that means we need to scale it equally. Now be careful, it has to be unis uniform scale. You don't want to do this, and you certainly don't want to do that. So we need to scale it down until that fits inside that box, because we know that it has to fit inside that box. Now it sure would be awesome if I could see through the box, and you know we can. So rather than adjust this, we know this is 88 inches and that's cool. I'm going to hit W, grab this. I'm going to zero this thing out. So I know that it's going to be in the middle, in the middle. And this box itself, I'm going to hit M. And I'm going to create another uh, uh, material. So this one is my art. I'm going to call it like Matt underscore concept. Concept art. Cool. And then this is going to be my modeling material. I'm going to call this matte underscore modeling material. All right. Cool. Now the color here is really important. Under diffuse, we need to make sure it's not red and not purple. I also think white is a bad choice. Um, yellow is also not great because sometimes it's hard to see 
Um, I like anywhere between green and blue. So whatever you're feeling is fine. Click OK. And then change the opacity to about 30. What that does is it allows us to actually take this material and drag it on there. And now we can see through the object while still actually seeing what's going on. Now we know that this art is set up-ish. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to scale this down until it is the proper size. So I need the gun to fully fit inside this. Now if I didn't know what this object was, how big this object was, let's say it's a science fiction, you know, alien or something. What we can do is we can do uh, use other sorts of information to help set that up. But for now, we know that the width is now set up. So if the width is now set up, I know that I can resize it this way to get the gun's height properly set. All right, so now I can resize this that way. So it's there because if I know the width is set properly and then the height set properly. Now I can see how far did I actually scale this down. So if I hit R, I can see that I scaled it by 6.1% or down to 6.1%. So from the top view, I'm going to select this and I'm going to type in 6.1. Boom. And I hit W and I can drag this. I said, oh, it's still doing that. Hit W and move it over here. Now we know that the rifle is going to fit there and we know that this is our box. So we know that, um, actually I should move this to here, hit R and then I should be able to scale it down till it fits. If I hit W, it should already be the proper size. So if I line up there, it will line up there. Cool. So now I can go to the left view, hit this, uh, Make sure we hit R, this is 6.1. So front is still huge. Um, this needs to be 6.1 as well, which makes it super tiny. Uh, hit enter, escape, W, move it over. So this is the front view and you can tell because look at that, it's very small. So we, we can move this up so that this is aligned like that. There, and now this should fit like this and roughly be the right size. Now you may have a little here or there, but at least you have the right idea. Now in the left view, we know that the art lines up first. The art should be here. And we know that we wanted this to line up with the, with the green dot. And it looks like actually this could come down a little bit and then slightly bigger. Now hit W and move it back. So top view, this art, we need to make sure that this line is directly on the center and we know that the green line or the green spot is going to be right on the zero, uh, the Y axis. And when we line that up, look, it fits. So now from the left view, we, the box is perfect. From the top view, the box is perfect. And from the front view, the box is mm, almost perfect. My art should come down a little bit, maybe. Or it might be a little off. You're going to have to deal with some art that might be just a teensy bit off. But still, this is pretty good. This is as good as you're going to get. So now, I can select the art itself. And see, this is how big that rifle should be. So now I've got concept art way in the back. And that's how far away those concept art panes are. So... Cool, so we have everything set up. Now what we need to do is select all three of these and then right click on one of them and go into object properties because what we want to do is make sure we turn off show frozen and gray because now we're going to make sure that we freeze them so we don't accidentally select them. So I'm going to right click them again and then go to freeze selection. Cool, so now when I select everything I don't get them. So if I hit front I can move around and left and I can click all over and I never select my concept art. I only get the object that I'm working on. So today we've set up concept art and it can be extremely confusing. Don't be surprised if you have to go through this again. If you ever have questions about how big concept art needs to be and it's something that's not real, like um, Mario is not a real person. Um, he, but you can assume that he is roughly proportionate size to a human. So he's like between 
you know, uh, he doesn't look like he's uh, short or a little person or anything like that. So you can assume he's between five and six and a half feet tall. And you can go from there. Um, I'm sure on the Internet someone's found out a way to f figure out how tall Mario is. And you can go off of that information, too. But when it comes to, like, concept art, the size in pixels starts out as the generic um, size of the planes. Then you find out how large the object is. And then you resize the art in every image so that we make sure that we know how big things are. Okay? So um, I will make sure that this PowerPoint is set up so you can go through it. But ultimately, we want to make sure that you, once you get the right size, we're converting the units. So before, we used to do it into inches. But since now we work with centimeters, it was much easier. Um, we made a starting box, and we talked about how to make the starting box. And we resized the image appropriately. And then we resized all of our other images to fix with, fit with all that stuff. And then the next thing we need to do is start snapping for symmetry. Um, after that, you're going to check your work with the next person, and then uh, then this is extensions. But ultimately, all this week, I want you to find a, some object that has decent concept art, and you're going to make your concept art set up in here uh, so that you're ready to go for your free one project. If you If you go through and you do this assault rifle first, that will give you the right idea. Remember, the assault rifle should end up with the, your box at 88. Um, let's see what it ended up being. It was 88 degrees long in width. It was 76 degrees in or 76 centimeters in length, give or take, and then 49 centimeters or 50 centimeters in height. And realistically, you might be able to just shave all these down to much more round numbers, like 76, 88, 50. Because most weapons and, and things that people make are almost always exactly set to some general number, like a half or a third, um, especially on this, these sort of things. Front view. So that's it. You've set up concept art, or at least you've done it once. Now you've got to find your own and set it up again. I wish you luck. This is the only video that you need to finish for this week. Um, plan to do it twice and plan to ask questions because it can be confusing but it is a crucial skill that you must have so thanks again for watching i'll see you next time for video 16 when we go over the requirements for the free one project